Are you not listening to anything that I just said? What kind of question? Because you is asked that me, dumb? why do you need to wake up at five of in the morning? Of course I want that. I just told you what Dude, I want. Do you have a lot of ground to cover? You have a lot that you need to accomplish within between now and the next five years to get to where you want to be. Every day you go to work and you get home and you hang out with your family as you should. But that leaves you no time to do what you need to do to better you so that you can build up you. So in order for you to be successful, you need to wake up early every day. You need to get up and get out of the bed and stop crying about it and do what you need to do so that you can get to where you want to be. Your dreams are like your light bill. If you do not pay your light bill, then your family is going to be sitting in the dark. If you don't wake up early and grind every single day, then in five years, your dream of being financially independent is going to be sitting in the dark. So quit crying about it. Man up. Get off this video game and go do what you need to do. Some of you are hitting me up like, look, I've been doing everything that you've been saying. I've been waking up early. I'm chasing my dreams. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But it seems like every time that I take two steps forward, I get knocked back three. I feel like I'm failing at everything, Rodney. What should I do? Look, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to be blunt as possible. Keep failing. What, what you want me to tell you? Keep failing. Because if you quit, then you lose. It is back to my point is sometimes you have to close the door. And what I mean by that is close the door of working with, with people who you thought that you needed to work with so that you can go open up another door. You might have to tell your friend or family member that, you know what, I love you. I don't love you any differently. But we're going to have to stop hanging out for a while because I'm trying to get somewhere. And I don't think you are as serious as I am. You see, there's gonna be some good people in your field, whatever job you're gonna get, whatever role you're trying to get on the court, there's gonna be some great people. But if you decide to dominate, they're not gonna remember them, they're gonna remember you. So I challenge you today, don't settle. Whatever it is that you want, you're this close. You're this close. You're a handshake away from getting to where you need to be. You're a day or two away from continuing working and getting to where you need to be. It may be a year, right? It may not just be a day, it may be a year. But you'll never get that if you don't keep pushing. If you quit, you'll never get that, right? So I challenge you today to not settle. Problems are like butts. We all have them. Some are just bigger than others. You're going to go through stuff in life. No road you take is going to be easy. There's potholes everywhere. I now live in Hamilton, Ohio, and man, I swear, there's potholes everywhere, right? You're going, to, you're going to hit roadblocks, you're going to hit potholes, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall, but you got to focus on where you're going to and not what you're going through. Listen to me close. You are the most influential person on your team. You are the most influential person in your family. If you walk around defeated, so will they. Look at your kids. If you walk around defeated, so will they. God gave you the gift of leadership. Use it. I believe our biggest fears is our mindset. Our mind is what tells us to fear whatever that we fear, whatever it is that we fear. Once you decide that I am not going to allow my mind to stop me from doing what I want to do or stop me from getting to where I want to be, then you're going to make a big difference for yourself and possibly impact lives around you.